Good morning, everybody. Hello, I can't hear you. We're here Monday morning, 7.30. It's great, let's get to work. Karen, I saw you flip me off, not professional. Technically, yes, you are following the company's dress code. However, you're wearing a spread collar, and I think a pointed collar would go much better with your square-shaped head. Buy, sell, buy. Wait a second, what am I even buying? I don't even know what that is, but give me 10,000 shares. You're telling me that hazing the interns is considered harassment, but it's a rite of passage. I still remember when I was an intern having to chug a pot of day-old Sanka as I stood outside in the snow in nothing but my underwear. It made me the man I am today. You guys have been working so hard, putting in the extra hours, giving it your all, working your buns off, that I've got a surprise for you. No, not a raise. A karaoke party! Judging from these projections, I'd be better off hiring monkeys from the zoo to do your jobs. But, as you all are marginally more tidy than monkeys, your jobs are safe, for now. Brenda, I know you're going through a very difficult divorce right now, and I feel for you, but you still can't come into work with wine in your thermos. It's just not professional. Yes, even if it's white wine. For lunch, give me Chinese food. Hot and spicy beef, extra spicy. Make sure they double bag it, because last time the grease seeped through the bag, got all over my desk, over a bunch of papers. I had to throw them out. They were probably important, but they had too much grease on them. Have to keep a tidy working environment. If things are a mess, you can't get anything done. Hold my calls, I'm out of the office for the afternoon and possibly forever. Timmy, you've been doing a tremendous job. You're a wonderful person, really the best, a terrific guy, you're fired. In order to make this a more uplifting workplace, I'm gonna start using emojis on all of my company-wide memos. And actually, now that I think about it, tell payroll to put them on the pay stubs too. I foresee our profits skyrocketing in the next 20 years when we can finally fire all of our human employees and replace them with robots. Of course, there will probably be some robots rights movement and we'll have to pay them too, but at least they won't get sick as often. If you could get me that report by the end of the day, that would be great. But don't rush, take your time. I don't want to inconvenience you. It's only 12 days late. You know, I like to think of us as a family here, a big dysfunctional family. Sometimes we fight, sometimes HR has to get involved, but in the end, we all make up because we desperately need the paycheck. Do you know what motivated me for 30 years to work my way up the corporate ladder and become CEO of this company? It was that private bathroom right there. Because if a man can take a dump at work in peace, you know he's made it. This company is easily the coolest place to work in North America. We have a full gym. We have a spa and a hot tub. We have a coffee bar. We have an actual bar with 14 craft beers on tap. We have an arcade. We have a wood-fired pizza oven. And we offer unlimited paid time off. Nothing ever gets done and we're hemorrhaging money, but we are cool. Can't get anything done if it's tidy. If it's not tidy, gosh. Really, but you're fired. I, why can't I get the words right? I need to go to English as a second language class, apparently. 